DJ Mr. Vince from Mix City Inc., the makers of Jam Text, also from Full Throttle Radio, FullThrottleRadio.net, and the Friday Night Mixer on WSBK. Here at Mix City, we've been getting a lot of questions about how do you connect your computer to your external screen so that you could use Jam Text at your gig or your venue. Today in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to show you exactly how to do that. We're going to start with the most common way, which is HDMI, but I'm also going to show you some other ways that you can connect your computer to your external screen. Let's get started. Let's start by physically connecting your laptop to your second screen. The most common way is with an HDMI cable. You're going to take your HDMI cable. Most laptops have an HDMI port right on the side of the laptop. You're going to want to connect the HDMI cable to the laptop. Then you're going to want to take your monitor or your TV screen and go to the back of it. And you're going to want to connect the HDMI to the back of your monitor. There you go. If your computer display does not automatically show up on your monitor or your TV screen, you may have to go into your TV's options and select the correct input source. Again, most laptops come with an HDMI port already on the side of the laptop. If your laptop does not come with the port, you can always purchase an adapter to be something like this, and that'll allow you to connect your HDMI cable to your laptop. On both Mac and Windows, when you first connect the second screen, by default, it is going to mirror your screen. That means whatever you see on your original screen is going to be copied and you will see the same thing on your secondary screen. For the purposes of using Jamtex, you do not want your screen to be mirrored. Let me first show you how to turn off mirroring on the Mac. Click on the Apple icon in the upper left corner. Then from the pull down menu, select System Preferences. Then select Display. So that it's easier to navigate to the display preferences in the future, you want to check show mirroring options in the menu bar when available. Now whenever you have a second screen plugged in, you will automatically see the icon in the menu bar at the top of the screen. Moving forward, you can just click this icon to get to the preferences. From the top menu bar, click on the display icon, then click open display preferences. Then click arrangement. And then you have to uncheck mirror display. To do this on Windows, you need to right-click the desktop and then click Display Settings. On this page, you want to scroll down to the bottom and you'll see that Windows also by default will duplicate the display. You want to click on Duplicate These Displays and change it to Extend These Displays. Then click Keep These Changes. Now you have two separate screens that you can mouse back and forth from. You want to use your second screen as the screen that your audience sees. Your main screen stays your main screen that you work off of. By default, both Mac and Windows will put the second screen to the right of your main screen. This just means that in order to mouse over to the second screen, you have to mouse toward the right. On both Mac and Windows, however, you can change this arrangement. As you can see, with this arrangement, you have to scroll left to get to the second screen. For the purposes of using Jamtex, or if you're a video DJ, once you're set up, you never really have to scroll to the second screen for anything. Again, it is just the screen that your audience is going to see. You're going to do most of your work on your main screen. So with this in mind, it doesn't really matter what side, up, down, left, right, you put your second screen at. Just as long as it's comfortable for you when you do need to mouse over there, you know which direction to drag the mouse to get there. A little trick that I've picked up over the years is that I put my second screen in the lower left corner. The reason for this is the computer will not let you mouse off the screen if there's not another screen there. So by doing this, it makes it much more difficult for me to accidentally lose my mouse over on the second screen. Now that we have the second screen connected, you want to go ahead and launch Jamtex, then launch the Jamtex display app, and then drag it to the second screen. Once it's on the second screen, you're going to double click to make it full screen. Now you're ready to use Jamtex at your event. Two things to note. If you use Jamtex over and over again with the same displays, to make setup easier for you, leave the display app in full screen on your second screen. Every time you launch Jamtex with that same exact configuration, as soon as you start your event, Jamtex will automatically put the display app in full screen on your second screen. If you use Video DJ software along with Jamtex, you'll do the same thing. You will just drag both the Jamtex and the Video DJ software displays to the second screen and make them both full screen. Jamtex video detection will automatically detect when a video is playing and when one is not. For more information on how to use Jamtex in conjunction with other video software, view our manual at Jamtex.com. You can also find answers to frequently asked questions in our knowledge base also at Jamtex.com. By default, computers will select the best resolution to use for your second display. 
On both Mac and Windows, you can change the display resolution. Let me show you how to do it. On the Mac, you want to open the display preferences, then select Gather Windows. This will bring the display preferences from your second screen over to your first screen so you can adjust it. Click on Scale to see the different display options. If you hold the Option key on your keyboard while clicking Scale, you will get even more resolution options to choose from. Now just select the resolution you want. On Windows, go to the Display Preferences, and then from the pull-down menu, select the resolution that you want. If the picture doesn't fit correctly on your secondary screen, you can use Underscan in your display settings to adjust your screen correctly. To do this on Windows, you want to right-click the desktop, and then click Intel Graphic Settings. Then click on Display. Then select the second screen that you have attached to your computer. Then select Custom Aspect Ratio. And now you can scale the screen to fit. Now that you know how to plug in and set up a secondary screen, the question is, how do you get that image onto multiple screens? It's simple. You would just use an HDMI splitter. So instead of plugging from your computer directly into your screen, you would plug from your computer to the input of the splitter. And then from the output, you'd plug into your multiple different displays. The same image will now appear on all of your displays. Last few things to note is one, if you're in a situation where it's difficult to run cables, you could always use wireless HDMI. Like I said before, HDMI is by far the most popular way to connect to a second screen. However, there are many different connection types and the good news is they make a cable or a converter for just about every single connection type. So I definitely recommend checking with the manufacturer of your screen before you plan out your project so that you can execute correctly. Remember to like our video and post in the comment section if you have questions or ideas on future videos. Thanks for watching.